Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Pistol Pete Dobson after the Conor Ben fight. Pete, you know, how you feeling right now? I feel good, man. You know, as good as you can feel after losing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, Connor Ben. I know a lot, a lot, a lot this week was made of his power, and, and, and you know there was a lot of talk about him getting you out of there in a round or two. Uh, what was the power like now that you've been in there with him for twelve rounds? Um, it's not no, it's not a power that I've never seen before. You know, he, he got power though, but it's power like he don't have it, like extraordinary power. I've been in there with guys. That I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this guy on crack or something? Hitting so hard, like retarded strength. Yeah, but he, he didn't have that. <laughs> he didn't have that. He was strong, though. He was he had power. But, like, it's another level. Like, when you get hit, and you're like, I ain't getting hit again. You feel me? <laughs> that type of power. But he didn't have that po type of power. But he, he had power. Okay. You had a lot of success when you pushed him back, but it just seemed like in a lot, in a lot of rounds, even when you were having success, that, you know, you, you just couldn't pull the trigger? No, it, uh -huh. it was, um he's he's athletic. So, like, okay. when he was retreating, Mm -hmm. It was hard to get to him without reaching, and I was trying not to reach and get caught with a stupid ass shot. You feel me? Because I feel like when I saw his punches coming, I could make him make it. I could take it, but you know, it's the punches you don't see. So I didn't want to reach too much and then get caught with some shit I didn't see. Okay. Um, I know with I know with um, you know. This, this, this fight, you had like a five-week camp, I think it was. Was it five yeah, weeks? Yeah, yeah, five weeks. So, so like, you think if you got more time to you know, be active? Yeah, definitely, and... man. You know, I work a, I work a fucking nine to five. <laughs> Tell them where you work at. I work at Overthrow and... Boxing Gym. Well, I work in all the, uh, mostly all the boxing gyms in New York. As a coach? As a coach, yeah. So, no, uh, I'm not making any excuses, man. Just I'm going to come back better next time. Okay. You know? I know you're still probably processing everything. I mean, I, I know you probably want to fight Conor Ben again down the road. I, I want to rematch. Yeah? Yeah, I want to rematch for the 10-week camp. Uh, you know, but I doubt they'll do it because, you know, he got a lot of money, a lot of money riding on a big fight. You're probably getting a Eubank fight, right? We, yeah, we, Eubank we... fight or one of these fights. But uh, I'm just happy for the opportunity, man. A lot of people was talking shit about me on Instagram <laughs> and all this shit, like I'm a cab driver. Close, close. I'm a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you, man. Like, with with when you when you do come back, I mean, apart from Conor Ben, is there anybody maybe you'd want to fight? You feel could get you going in the right direction? Um, is there a guy that sticks out? Man, I don't care who I fight. I just I just want to fight. You know, boxing. When I was um, I started boxing at 16, and I always picture myself fighting in these big fights and um, being in Vegas, and it's just a dream come true. So. I don't really care. I don't pay attention to people. I just love the opportunity, you know? Yeah, just to show what you can do. Yeah, to show what I could do. I'm tired of people saying, oh, he never fought anybody. He's a bum. He's this, that, and that. Um, I'm just happy for the opportunity, you know? Okay. You feel like, you know, with, with your with your defense and, and the things you're able to, you know, kind of, you feel like you maybe gave people a blueprint on how to, how to beat Conor Ben? Um, I got to watch the fight. I don't okay. know. I don't know. I feel like... Uh, if I was in a little bit better shape, I could have stepped on the gas a little bit. But uh, I was in good shape, though. I just wasn't like, you know, five weeks is not enough to be in the best shape of your life, you know? For a big fight, you know, Vegas. Yeah. I would have came out to Vegas a little bit earlier, too, like two weeks in advance, sparred out here. But, you know, I, I was, I felt good in there, though. I just feel like, like, um, yeah, I didn't even really get tired. I just was more cautious to not get tired, you feel me? And if I would have had a longer training camp, I would have knew I, I wouldn't get tired, you feel me? Yeah, I feel you. I feel uh, you. So maybe maybe at the peak that I saw in the Jose Borrego fight, if you can get back to that level of shape, you still feel like you're one of the top welterweights in the world? Um, I, well, I got to watch the tape, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. disappointed with myself, and um, you know I know I could be way better, and um, it just it just wasn't my night. I know you haven't had time to, like, to go on social media, but a lot, a lot, you've been getting a lot of positive comments. Like, a lot of people that were talking trash like on Twitter and stuff. I've been watching. They're saying, wow, this guy can really fight. So, reputation. Man, I know, I know I can fight. I don't care what anybody says about me. I've been doing this shit for a long time. I put my life into this shit. So, um, they can say I can't fight. They can say I suck. They can say I'm a cab driver. That shit don't hurt me, man. I'm from the Bronx. My skin is really, really thick. You feel me? I was t I, when I was a kid, my... Uh, People used to tell me I was gonna die like my father and shit like that. So shit don't hurt me, feel me?
you get thick skin. I got thick skin. All right, people, I, I don't hold you up because I know, I know um, it's been a long, long week, long night for you. But uh, any, any final message you want to give to the boxing fans and the people that are now, you know, going to be following you? Um, stay tuned. Hopefully I get another opportunity. You know, it's hard in this boxing business. They push you to the side. They, like, you know, it's hard, man. I got a family. I got to feed my family. <clears throat> I got to feed my family. So if they don't give me opportunities, I got to go to go work a day job. <laughs> you feel me? I feel you. All right, Pistol Pete Thompson, as always, thank you. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.